Hello again, welcome to our class. Today we'll be covering absolute and relative references. If you remember, we inserted a table last time to our salary sheet, and this time we will be working on scale tab. So what is a reference? A reference is when you reference another cell to take a value of that cell. For example, we will hit equal sign, to start a formula and I will choose a cell. Let me choose B1, $54,000. I hit enter. It takes the value of B1 and brings it over. The B1 is a coordinate for our, for our table here, salary table, but an actual coordinate is C3. So these are the coordinates, C3. And if you can see here, we said equals C3. Now the way we did it, we hit equal sign and we chose the cell and it puts the C3 in there. But you can also type the same thing by saying equal C3, sorry, and hit enter. And this will be, this will bring the same thing again. Now, Relative reference is when I drag uh, the formula down like this, the formula should bring a relative reference, which means if this is M3 and if I drag it down to M4, this was C3, now this will bring C4. So corresponding line will become a corresponding formula. So 54, 54, 8, 10, 55. The beauty of this is that you can just write one formula and drag it down to create uh, many formulas if you have a consistent data going down. Also, the same thing goes for moving it to the right. So if I drag it, drag my formula to the right, as you can see, it brought the next value on column D. So M3 brought C3. Now I switch to N3 and that brought, as you can see, D3. So as my column moves, when I drag my formula over, everything move, moves accordingly. Now, why we use that? Because if I wanted to drag um, the labels across to this table, and let's say I'm replicating this table and I want those labels in, I would just say equals C2, and that will be my label B. And if I drag it over, that will be B, B15, M, M15. So not only we can use numbers, we can use labels too. Let's apply it in our table. As you can see, I have data written manually, which is B, B15, M, M15. Now, the problem here is if we want to change any of these labels, let's say we want to change this M15 to M20. As you can see, if I had many tables with the same structure, if I had five years of worth tables with the same structure, when I change M20 here, the M15 will remain the same. We would like to keep consistency. So what, what I will do, I will say equals and I will choose B. I hit enter and I drag over the formula up to the end. As you can see now, I have replicated data. So when I switch this back to M15, this the down table FY22 scale table will also go back to M15. If you have many tables in the same workbook, it's better to refer to labels and use labels from one spot instead of changing labels on all different tables. This becomes a problem when you change a year from FY20 to FY21 
and then you need to go back and change all the labels to FY20 and FY21. We will use a concatenation in the future to create a dynamic formulas to use labels from one source. Now let's go back to um, our relative and absolute references. Now this is a relative reference, but there is also absolute reference involved. So let me delete this and let's create one more reference. Now, let's say if I drag it to the right, I do not want to move the columns, but if I drag it down, I want that to be moved. So what I do is if I put a dollar sign uh, before letter C, which represents column, it means that this column will remain exactly the same if I move it to the right. Let's try it. If I move this to P, as you can see, it's all 54, 54, 54, 54. This all refers to C3, but if I select all of them and drag them down, now this change to C4, C5, and C6, and so on. For me to prevent that, I will hit Command Z, and one more time, Command Z to bring it back. To change that to absolute value, Again, we can put a dollar sign in front of three, which will keep this data consistent no matter where you drag this. Why do we need that? Let's give it an example. And I would like to use that example with our increase. This is our increase, which is 2.5% from FY21 to FY22. Let me delete everything here. And we will create this table by using this 250 and dragging formulas right and down to create the same exact table that is up there by applying 2.5%. So for me to apply 2.5%, I will need to add one, which means that 100 is our dollar amount. If I want to increase this 100 by 2.5%, I need to say equals 100 times, in parentheses, 1 plus 2.5. Sorry, not 2.5, it's 0 0.025. And close parentheses, uh, the the reason for parentheses is we need to calculate plus before multiplication. That's why we put parentheses around 1 plus 0 0.25. And I hit enter. Now it's $102.50. So we apply 2.5% increase into the 100. So I'll delete that. I just wanted to show you why I would do what I do. I will start with typing equal. And I will say, take this B1 on a previous year, multiply this by, I open parentheses, 1 plus the increase, which is 2.5%. Now, if I leave it as it is, which is a relative reference for both C3 and K15, I hit enter. And when I drag it down, drag my formula down, to 10, as you can see, the first one did in fact change. What happened, it took this $54,000, it increased it by 2.5%. But going to B2, it is the same exact number. Let's look at the formula and let's inspect it. I will double click this cell and it will open um, references for me. As you can see, C4 is blue and the selection is blue. K16 is red and the selection is red. That's how you can find your references. Now, when I look at C4, is this the number that I wanted to take at B2? 
and here B2, yes, this is the number that I wanted to take, so that is correct. I do not touch that. But K16, is this the cell that I want to take? No, I need to take K15. Now you can manually fix by dragging this red here, but that will fix the problem for only one cell. You have to go to each cell to fix that problem. Instead, I want to keep it here and make a mistake for now. I will go back and I will make this an absolute reference, which means that the K15 will not change if I drag my formula down or if I drag my formula right. It will stay the same. Now, on Mac, to do that, it is Command T to toggle between relative reference and absolute reference and also absolute column, absolute row, and uh, absolute both. So if I hit Command T multiple times, by the way, this for Windows, it is F4. The key F4 would do this uh, toggling. Now Command T, I would go Command T, and until I reach my desired absolute value, which is $K$15, I will not stop. So I will stop here, I will hit enter, and I will drag my formula down, and I will drag my formula right. And we have our table ready. It was easy, it was fast. If you use absolute reference combined with relative reference, you can come up with a beautiful table. Let's inspect our work. I will go to M4 and I will check the references. M4 takes E6, it is also M4, that is correct, that's what I wanted to use, and K15 is using my percentage increase, which is correct, so I'm all set there. Another way of doing it, if you wanted to concatenate data, this, is, this will be a, an introduction of a new formula, I will use not formula but and sign, and if I wanted to, to change these labels, to step B, step B15, step M. So instead of going in each, let's go and change it here. Instead of going in each and typing step and then going to this one and typing step again. So I don't want to do that. I will hit Command Z or Control Z in Windows to go back. What I want to do, I want to create this by including step. What I will be doing, I will put step here and I will make a reference to step as an absolute reference for the column and I will make a reference to each label. What I will do, I will say equals this cell's value which is step and I will say and and I will open quote put space dash space Whatever we put in quotes, it shows exactly the same way when you get the value. And I will put another and, and I will choose my label. Now, let's enter. It says step dash B. But since I did not make absolute reference for any of them, they are both relative, let's see what happens when we drag it to the right. To see what happened now here we have b step b b15 and step b b15 and so on it it keeps adding step to another one and it keeps adding the labels now to fix that problem on the first cell i will do a, a an absolute column reference to step which is dollar sign in front of B, and then I will drag all the labels. Now this fixed our problem. Steps stayed the same, relatively the labels changed. Let's inspect M15. When we inspected, yes, it refers to step and it refers to M15, which is correct. Now this is all of our class today. I just wanted to introduce you to relative and absolute references and quick concatenation formula. 
we will be using this going forward on other classes. But for now, thank you very much for joining us for the class and have a great day.